I'm gonna walk you through my DIY hair trim. <laughs> Let's see how this comes out. everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Ruby Patchouli and on this channel I talk about curls in today's video I will be giving myself a hair trim it's gonna be a DIY hair trim and I say hair trim because I have given myself a DIY haircut and it ended horribly for today's haircut I just want to trim the ends because they are a little dead. It would be nice if I could like bring this up, but I'm not a, I'm not a certified hairstylist, so I'm not even gonna attempt to do this. So let's see how this side looks. I get anxiety when I go to a hairstylist, even a curly hairstylist. The only place I like to go to get a haircut is Utopia Salon, which is in New Jersey. I live in California. I haven't had my haircut in, I don't even know, when was the last time? I think the last time was, I think it's been over a year i think it's been 13 months within that time all i've been doing is giving myself hair trims and i'm just gonna keep doing that until i make my way over to utopia salon so right now i am freshly washed i don't have any product in my hair hopefully this comes out good i'm not gonna go to scissor happy i'm just gonna want to cut my ends i do have different layers and the bottom of my hair is shorter than the rest of my hair which is very annoying so we are gonna cut the ends of that how to know when you need a haircut when you are finding fairy knots and single strand knots I, if you saw my last video you will know what i'm talking about i had a very nasty nasty knot and i've been having those very consistently also if you notice that you are not able to have like a lasting hair routine and i mean a hair routine that doesn't last at least three days without your hair getting very matted. That's because of the fairy knots and the single strand knots. So we are gonna try to fix this. First thing I'm gonna do is part my hair straight down the middle. I'm not a licensed cosmetologist, I'm not a licensed hairstylist. Okay, so I'm gonna gently detangle with my fingers. Okay, so here I'm just taking each side of my hair and cutting off the ends. Now I am separating my crown area from the rest of my hair and I'm going to start taking section by section and cutting off the ends, only about half an inch. I'm not gonna be cutting every single section to match the first section I cut. I'm just us using it as somewhat of a baseline. I am, however, cutting about half an inch off of every single section. When it comes to my dead ends, when I'm rubbing my hands through my hair, I can feel where my dead ends start. So that's kind of where, like how I'm basing my cut. And I'm just trying to make sure that the amount that I'm cutting off of each section is it's the same compared to every other section. Once I'm done, I'm just measuring, checking to see if the left and the right side is even. And then as you can see, I am tying it under my chin and just cutting off a bit more of the ends just to make sure it is even. And now I'm working with the top. So it looks like the back section is pretty much done. Now I'm gonna work with the sides of my hair. I'm taking the right side, turning it t towards the opposite side, and I'm cutting diagonally.
With the top middle portion of my hair, I will be doing the same grabbing section by section and cutting off about half an inch. I had a few malfunctions with my memory and my batteries so I wasn't able to show you when I was cutting this the front part of my hair but this is how it looks after doing the trim I really hope it's even we're gonna see how it looks after I style it so let's go let's start by wetting this head of hair so my hair is fully wet. I have applied my leave-in as well. And I'm gonna do the lock method today. So what is the lock method? Is leave-in, oil, and cream. So now I'm gonna go in with my jojoba oil. Just a few drops. I'm gonna focus on the ends. Let's put it on the ends and my mid shaft and then a little bit on the top. So I'm gonna be applying the Flawless Pattern Perfecting Pudding. It's by Aunt Jackie. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to try my hardest not to apply too much of this. When it comes to cream, I haven't really been using cream lately. So let's tuck this away. And now I'm going to distribute the cream to the rest of my hair. Look, look at my hair cut. Look at, my hair is definitely shorter, but it's okay. I'm gonna just use this much for the back. The styling technique I'm gonna use is my fingers. So let's distribute this. Don't forget about the sides. I'm gonna smooth it out. Do the same to the other side. Rake it in and then smooth it down. Now we're gonna go to the top. I'm gonna try and use half of what I applied on the back to the front. This is how much I'm gonna use for the front. I'm gonna take some small sections, use this brush that I have here. I'm gonna smooth these pieces out, brush it up. I'm gonna brush it up and then I'm gonna let it go to the back. I'm gonna keep doing that till I reach to the front. Let it do whatever it wants to do. <laughs> Grab the other side, brush through, smooth it out, and then kind of like shake it. Let it do whatever it wants to do. Okay, now it's time to diffuse. I'm gonna diffuse off camera because I feel like you guys seen you guys have seen me diffuse enough times. <laughs> These are the results of my DIY haircut. From what I see, there are no fuck ups. I didn't mess up. I'm really happy. This is just a trim to hold me off until I can finally go back to the East Coast and get my hair cut. But what do you guys think? I really like it. My hair feels bouncy it feels much healthier than before before i just i had a, a lot of dead ends a lot of dry ends a lot of fairy knots single strand knots glad i didn't go scissor crazy i want to continue growing my hair but i want it to be healthy not just long i want it to be healthy and i feel like i am on the right track it's even from what i see 
and I'm I'm very happy with it. I was I was a little concerned. I'm not gonna lie. When I was doing my haircut, I felt like I was all over the place. That's my DIY curly haircut. I hope that you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something from it. I am not a professional whatsoever. I have countless times had such traumatic experiences getting my haircut at hair salons, and now I am traumatized. I don't like to get my hair cut at salons. I feel empowered. I feel like I'm becoming better at trimming my own hair. I'm very proud of myself and this just gives me a lot more confidence and it just reminds me how far I've come in my curly hair journey. Thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. If you haven't yet, please, please subscribe. I'll see you ladies and gentlemen next week in another curly hair video. Thanks for watching.